Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for... Oh, man. I hate when there's humidity outside and I can't shuffle. But anyways, for August 28th through September 3rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Here we go. The overall <laughs> energy for the reading, the tower. I'm like, I'm looking at this reading, I'm like, it's gonna be a short one. Virgo's doing good, and then the tower. Uh, so I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, like, oh my God, the tower, something's happening. No, not necessarily. It could be coming in as something positive, so we don't know. Well, let's keep it here for now and we'll clarify um, and see. In the recent past, the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, Um, really determined to get something going here, possibly for yourself, possibly for yourself as someone else. Very determined, a lot of determination to get something nice rolling. There's love there, there's passion, there's good stuff. Um, in the current situation, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. I feel like it is going. You know, something is going definitely by the looks of it something is working out but there's a lot of overthinking over it you know so as it's going someone's thinking mm, is it going mm, could it go better could it go worse could it go mm, 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 mm. i suspect you by the way um in the immediate future the world card the ace of pentacles the magician um hmm. interesting I mean, there's a cycle coming to a close for sure, and it's a good one by the looks of it, because it's, it's, it's definitely closing out something good and brings out something good. You know, I don't see any issues before or after this closing of the cycle, but we'll, we'll see more when we clarify, so let's... Um, man, they're loud tonight. They are loud. Anyways, let's clarify the tower. The devil, the wheel of fortune, the six of swords. There's these, um, with this tower, what I'm seeing that's happening. So I see an overall good energies for you, for whoever it is you're dealing with, for you in general. There's, there's a flow of, okay, it's happening, it's good, it's working, it's fine. And then I see these sparks of unhealthy something coming to the surface. And they're yours. I don't know what kind of sparks you got going on that are unhealthy. But they're here. But they're coming in as... <clears throat> and then they're gone. So it's like... If you keep feeding these sparks, they're going to get bigger and bigger. Until they're going to mess and interfere big time with these energies. As good as they are, they're not going to look so good anymore. If if you keep on feeding the, these sparks, right? I don't see you doing it generally, but sometimes you may. Um, so I see you having the tendency to, to go there and throw in that spark, which could be, think of it as, well, it could be anything, but think of it as, let me give you an example. Um, you have it good, you know, with someone, something's going great and it's just flowing and it's like, thinking to yourself not not even consciously necessarily but just because there's something there that makes you do that you know and not you every human being on this planet possibly has that at least once in their lifetime but it's like okay everything's going great okay i'm bored mm. let's spice this up somehow let's find a reason to kind of fuck it up for a split second let's see what happens let's fuck with it for a minute so something's good with this person okay um 
All right, so why were you looking that way at that person that one time, even though you're not a jealous person or not, you know, you would never bring that up or never do anything like that because that didn't even happen, but you're looking for trouble, basically. So let's start trouble. That kind of a spark. And it's like, if you feed that kind of an energy, it's going to grow, it's going to grow, it's going to grow, it's going to make its roots, its place into this situation. And it's not even true. It's not even real. But it's here, fucking things up, basically. You know, I see you potentially coming up with one of those sparks, but stepping away from it. So not feeding that, um, not giving roots to it, basically. Let me do that King of Swords there in the recent past. Mm. The Hierophant, the Empress, the Six of Cups. So definitely has to do with the soul connection, very deeply felt soul, soul connection here. Um, where I see your action and your determination in the direction of the soul connection. And you, you carry energy of, let's get the show started. And it's going to be a good show, because I kind of like this, you know. Let's do the Ace of Cups. You get the Ace of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, your intention is love. Let's put it together. Let's make it happen. And we'll live happily ever after. The problem is, you also brought in fear with you yes you brought in love yes you brought in great energy but you also brought in fear and that fear i feel like is you know you plug that fear in it's going to create that little spark one of the little spark you know um mm -hmm. let's do the ace of wands in the recent past the six of swords the page of pentacles the page of swords yeah, not rushing it, taking it slow, taking it easy. Even though the intention is quite big here, you're not pushing it. You're not like, okay, I met you today. Tomorrow we're getting married and we'll live happily ever after. From tomorrow, they're on out. I, I don't know, something like that. You, you, no, you're taking it slow. You're like, okay, you know, yeah, that's what I want. That's the big plan for this. But let's take it normal. Let's not go fly in the skies with it, you know, like crazy. So it felt good. Uh, a steady slow pace felt good to this even though the energies were pretty big as i'm saying as i'm seeing here um let me do the three of cups and you have four king of pentacles king of swords queen of swords the chariot something is oh man it's just looking like it's meant to be you know it's that perfect match perfect resonance like we we, we make this match can you imagine wow and not only you to possibly feel that way, or maybe it's just you, but it feels like you have confirmations possibly from the universe as well. Because I see a little bit of universal interference in this too, you know? So, okay, let's do the Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords. Okay. So yeah, you're working on things, it's looking good, it's looking like it's going up, 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 and up, and then the Three of Swords comes in. Your pain, tied up to your fear, tied up to the freaking sparks, and then we have the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is that kind of an energy where, remember when I told you, hey, everything's going right, let's fuck it up. I'm bored. Yeah, let's do this. Who was that you were looking at? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there it starts. So you have backup for these sparks. They're not just showing up out of nowhere. You have fear, you have pain, you have all sorts of things that you brought in with you. You know? So that's the perfect fuel to start up the, those sparks. You're not coming from nowhere just because you're bored. That's kind of how it's showing up on the surface. But nope, there's something else feeding those sparks. Uh, for the Two of Swords, you get the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like, as I see the energies flowing for the situation, they're smooth, they're flowing, and there's great freaking energies on your side and on their side that are sustaining this and making this grow. And then there you are with your little sparks, if that's you, because it could be, you know, roles can be reversed. I'm not going to put it only on you, even though I kind of feel like this is you, but... Uh, could be them. Let's give you the benefit of the doubt. But you come with the sparks that, again, are kind of a undercover mask 
kind of a thing for all of your pain, all of your fears, all of your insecurities, all of that coming to the surface, wanting to come to the surface, you know? And they're quite deceptive because they're not only hurting you because they're just sitting there creating commotion for your life for nothing uh, without you looking at them and healing them. They're hurting every relationship you kind of engage with and especially the most important ones, you know? They're gonna affect those one way or another. Let's do the world card in the immediate future. Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Death card. Let me do the Ace of Pentacles and then we'll talk about all this. The Nine of Cups, the Tower, the Six of Pentacles. And let me do the Magician. The Hangman, the Fool, the Strength card. This is a very interesting, different approach. Um, you're definitely closing off a major cycle here. Um, and the one that's opening up looks very different than what you're showing me here. It's, it's like you're starting a, a Say No to Sparkles campaign here by the looks of it. And it's working out. It's going to take time. It's going to take patience. But I definitely see you in a different place. And when that need to light up those sparks comes, I see you balancing yourself out. I see you being like, nope, let me center myself. Let me not look for ways in which I can get bored or try to create some sort of something because who knows why. Um, Hmm. And again, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of standing by, basically, as these needs of yours come in to, okay, let's light up the sparks. Um, there's a whole lot of sense of centeredness and a whole lot of sense of let's, let's pause before we light up the sparks. Um, I'm not convinced here of this cycle that you're closing off unless it's something that you may have justified the sparks in a way of I feel the need to do something to create this commotion so that I can validate this relationship or their love for me or you know where you could have justified it like that in the past because you are closing that cra it, it, it's it's looking like something a little bit crazy but almost like a sense of justifying the sparks and you're not doing that in the way that you used to because you're recognizing that hey th that's my crap basically you know that starts up these sparks there's no excuse for it. There's no, oh, let's validate my love for them, their love for me, and bullshit like that. No, you know? That's coming from my baggage, from my fears, from my insecurities, from so definitely taking it all in and working with that instead of just, oh, you know, I do it because I want to see if they love me. And no, that's no. You, you, no, <laughs> you know? So anyways. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Five of Cups, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working on it. You're definitely making a whole lot of progress. I feel like you're not seeing it. It's it's not one of those things where you can actually, oh, okay, I made progress. And now I'm not lighting up the sparks anymore. It's not going to show up like that. I feel like the progress and the work that you're doing on the freaking sparks is going to reveal itself in time uh in quite quite a lot of time possibly i feel like you're not seeing any results right now necessarily but you will so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye